trying to get into the winner's bracket. Now, if you take a loss here, are there some ways that you may be able to get in? Sure, but you win, you are in. Let's see if they can do it. I don't think it fix like that crazy when you think about it like that. If you're trying some maps, if you're Legion, you're going hard in the paint if you're Royal Ravens. Listen, they got to come in hungry. We'll see if they can do it. I mean, Legion was in yesterday, so I, I mean, they played some great Call of Duty. I, I just think this Legion true, team's true. trying to get better and better. Uh, I mean, we heard the listening, how they were playing those respawns. I think they are just kind of locked in right now. They're loving the squad. The Tem is there. And as Ant said, Ooh. they are having moments. Is uh, There's going to be three dead in some nice time for Legion. Yeah, no, they really have. And that's sort of what we talked about yesterday. When you have that consistent effort and attach, sometimes it's like you need one other guy to go off, one guy to have the big moments. And it's been any of the other three just having those incredible moments. As Clayster does come through with two on the feed, four Royal Ravens, a couple seconds left, and we get ready to rotate over. It's going to be attached, lurking, just tucked in the corner. Almost comes away with a fellow able to snap. Yeah, I mean, he hits the first one. He's hoping for a little bit of a lunge there on the second melee, but doesn't connect. Fe fellow able to get away from it. So there is the first. Clay's going to find the second. So a nice break opportunity here for Carolina, but Geo locking it down. Trophy on. You do have, who is that? Purse staying alive all the way in the back, but he is taking down. So Carolina for now, just want to put enough pressure to get them off the hill, and they're able to do it. Yeah, I mean, when we last casted him, like, yesterday, there's so many moments where Purge, you know, he's last alive, needs to get a kill or two, or slow something out, and he's able to. But the guy that really needed to get, like, those big multi-kills that was insane yesterday, Gia, man, he was a freak. The guy was on one. No, he was. Yeah, I, I, doing it with the sub, doing it with the AR, big series for him. He's been consistent, but not always the pop-off moments we were seeing yesterday. Yeah, just those big multi-kills, just doubles, triples, just coming out to have these big swing moments. We'll see if he can have another day like that. But I think you're right. Like, they're just playing with a lot of confidence. Like, things are starting to click after they make the move and get Geo on this team. I don't know. It's just like you, what you're doing is working. You just want to keep perfecting that going into the major. Yeah, and that's it, right? So now they're going to try to find some new maps. But over towards, the, you know, this P3, it's a good job from Geo to win off the hill and kind of break this up. You see where Carolina's spawning all the way out towards Palace. TJ, TJ the last man alive up towards Gas. Oh, I thought he was going to find one, but not going to happen. A huge break there for Legion. Yeah, I thought with the rival there, maybe able to do it, but Geo able to take that fight. It'll be another hard point straight together now for Vegas Legion. They look to get the advantage as Geo putting in damage for the back tank, sets it up for attach. Fellow trying to snap at the car now, coming into the fray for Vegas Legion. You go up 50 now. You're looking to get the rest of this scrap. We'll see if Carolina can start to swing it back. Well, and this is what Vegas did so well yesterday in the hard points was these breaks at these money hills. They just did not allow Surge to get back into the game. And even just a, a hill like that, I know it is very early, but you needed a response from Carolina. Now you're down near 70 points early. We know how important sort of that P3 is. But there is the break, and then you get a good amount of time from Legion. Yeah, those hard points yesterday just like just had the advantage or ahead and able to hold on to it. Not like those crazy swings like we've seen in a lot of these series for the most part, handling business, playing well with the lead. We'll see if they can continue to do it here. For now, this central hard point doing a good job just keeping people out of it. It's nearly 20 seconds was already off the point. Now trying to get into it will be Royal Ravens, but making it difficult with Attach. Is Attach getting two? Update in four. The guy's been a rock. Yeah, Gwyn right now just trying to stay alive. His three teammates, they spun up all the way Palace. Gwyn, he's going to have to try to make a play, maybe to help them get out for P5. And, well, he's going to do that. So he's going to find a double. But the spawn's safe right now for Legion. So they're going to rotate over towards P5. But Carolina, no, they're going to try to go quickly. But that is going to be shut down as Purge playing his life. Ugh. Finally traded out. But it's just TJ now, the furthest man forward for Carolina. Gwen so close to making that play, just too many bodies for Vegas. And then Gwen gets rewarded with a palace spawn. So he's got spawns out so deep after nearly making the heroic play. But now we get ready for next. You've sort of booked this up. The top street got near the point. Now you've got a three on three here at the point. Lining up in front of them will be Purge. Purge able to get the kills. One more he's trying to dance with. Gotta make it two more. Able to snap. The headshot comes through clean. Fellow gets ripped in. That's another one of those moments Purge has had. He's been big for them, man. And again, they don't rush to the hill. They spawn up back parking lot. Uh, you had one player and Fellow get a kill on the flank to try to pinch. But there's nobody really on it, right? They're taking their time, controlling blue, controlling DVD. Then they find those kills. Now they are on the point. We've seen that with Invasion kind of playing around map control first. 
And well, that's going to turn into some time and through this first set of rotations. What we talked about yesterday, just that 80 point lead for Legion. And well, Legion, the listening so good yesterday. Let's go to a listening with Vegas. Can you give me a freezer? I'm talking on time, yep. I'll, I'll, I'll see him. I'm, looking, I'm looking, I'll read on. Thing on the left, thing on the left. I think David. Win her on the right. P1 tank, right side. Right, right, right. Contest from ACD. Contest from ACD. Right. Nice. Back right core. Back right core. Wait, missing 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 one shot. 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 One I'm going for blue. I'm going to 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 blue. I'm well, Joe, based on how good the listening was yesterday and like things were going a little better for them in game, I think during it, this time they were dealing with some scrappy moments. What were your thoughts? A little chaotic. I think there was uh, a little chaos there, but I, I still think you, you kind of heard like, we need to do this. Let's focus on this guy. Like killing the guy in blue, like that, yeah. deal with that first. Just sort of yeah, like, hey, that. I'm spawning behind them. You guys just play your life. I'll get the player on the hill. It was a nice break towards P2, but then yeah, Carolina, they fight their way back, trying to make this a game. Much needed break over towards P2 from them. As yeah, you were spawning Palace out. It was looking ugly, but they were able to get out, get some of the time. But over yeah. towards this P3 rotation, it's been all Legion so far. It wasn't even like that chaotic. It's like, you know, it's different when, they're, when you're rolling and like you've got the setup, but you're just holding, like it kind of calms down a little bit. Like those are some scrappier moments. And yeah, I hear you, but we've definitely heard far more chaotic. That, that, that's Someone for said sure. they had left. They're all going to be right six times. Oh, pur yeah, Purge. Like they're all going to be right. They're all going to be right. They're all going to be right. Like, <laughs> yes. True. <laughs> Yeah, he was uh, very clear that he was holding that <laughs> mid lane, that's for sure. But uh, they're pushing this lead out to 100 again. Uh, Geo, I was about to say he's on three in a row, but the second out of my mouth, he's dead. Nero uh, stepping up for him. You know, uh, yesterday, you know, we were talking about this map, I think, for the control and how good he'd be. Like, he didn't really have that pop up. The other guy stepped up, but showing his star power currently. Advantage you've just you've held, and the, the nice part of going up 100 early, like even though you chipped away at there a bit of your Royal Ravens, like it's still like 60, 70 point advantage, right? Yeah, and that, and that was the thing with the listening, right? It's sort of they were they knew where they wanted to be on the map. You heard a couple of times, let's not play for the hill, let's play for certain positions. You know, it's the spawns and just cashing in where they can, and they did it at P3. So they're now 38 points away from winning this map number one. Nero, keeping it rolling right now. We'll see if he can find more action, but we'll snap things over to Purge. Get some info behind the stun, but he'll get dropped by TJ. Last time we were at this hard point, not a ton of time was accrued. <laughs> Had a lot of white time throughout the course of this as well, but you need every second you can possibly get right now if you are Royal Ravens. Yeah, you'll take this if you're first, right? In, in Legion, they're going to take that 10 seconds. And I thought seconds, Carolina, yeah. we're going to have a very clean rotation over to P5, but then a couple of players die. You see the spawns coming in over towards Palace. So it's kind of a 2-1-1. One, one. Okay, so they spawn towards the front. So everyone now is going to be back parking lot. This is a great chance for Purge to have an individual play, go for some spawn kills, but I think Clay sees him throw a stun. So they know his spot top blue but so many people are focused on him look at the hill all of legion are here so it's a four on four on the point that had he insane the back dumpster you get the numbers here for royal ravens you take down three you lose one you get control of the hard point now only guy really close on the other side of this for a pinch opportunity will be geo he can't take his fight so it's another moment, like we kind of heard during the listening, where you start to kind of chip away at this. You're making some good plays if you're Royal Ravens. It's just, 
I mean, this is the problem of going down 100 early. This feels like you're always trying to claw your way back. Yeah, and again, they are. Uh, this is no surprise, unfortunately, for Carolina. Kind of used to this if you're a fan of them. 0-7 throughout the year on Invasion Hardpoint. Maybe they could find their first win, but not looking so right now. Looking more like an 0-8. We were going to throw a party, too, Joe. We were thinking about it. Yeah. But you're going to see Geo just going to get on this hill. Has a trophy down, and Nero getting his cuts towards blue. And again, just chipping away towards that 250 point mark. Yeah, right. Any second you can get so close to a victory here, trying to make the rally. It's Carolina, and Geo now poised to pounce. Going in to accrue some time, contest some time. Felony able to get a double. Just keep this alive. Uh, again, a nice sequence here from Carolina, but will be too little too later. Do you ramp up some sort of miracle? For now, Nero just in a position to kind of keep them out of the point, make sure they can't get any time. Happy to do that and play his life, but find a little drop in a gunfight to Gwen. Geo will be next up the bat. You got 10 seconds to go. You can't quite win it here, so you do a good job at extending this to another hard point if you're Carolina, but you are close and chomping at the bit if you're Legion. Yeah, you're so far away now. You have Geo so finding far. spawn kills. The one player forward is going to be Clay through Dart, but he's by his lonesome right now. He's going to have to make the first play. Nate's starting to come on through, but Carolina set up. The crossfires are in two. Going to go down, make it three. And Vegas Legion with another hard point victory. I mean, you just had to throw so much at that, like to try and keep it alive for a next hard point that you weren't even able to really think about the next. And Legion close it out easily there, Tractor. But like, yeah, it's what, eight and four now for them. The hard point's been clicking. You saw like the holding and breaking stats. I mean, all around, they've just been good, solid. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah. good. Like, not necessarily like blowing everybody out of the water or looking like the best hard point team in the game, but do they look like they can take a hard point off of a top team? Maybe be that dark horse? 100%. Yeah, and again, you're going to need it from all four players. So, yeah, obviously, you're, someone's going to have some insane numbers, but everyone's within 500 damage of one another on this map number one. On the other side, it just felt like you start a little bit too slow, right? There were a couple yeah. opportunities. That P3, I think, just right off that first rotation, set the pace for Vegas Legion, how they wanted to control the map. Near that second set, Carolina got going a bit, but it was just too late. I mean, how often have we seen that this year where it's just like, you know, you have like strong side spawns or whatever the case may be, whatever the map may be. It's P2, like you give up that time and try to set up for P3 and then you get broke and it's like, okay, we're down 100. It, we see it so much. I mean, obviously it's real common, like a skid row or something like that, but it can happen anywhere. <laughs> like you just try to set up, one break comes through and you're like, wow, we are in a hole. Yeah, you spawn palace and you're like, yeah. This is oh, tough. God. Yeah, you gotta run <laughs> very far uh, across the map. But now this is where it gets interesting. Again, Vegas, obviously the position that they're in, these next three maps. I mean, you haven't played this all year in high rise SD. They're literally 0 0 on the year. They have, and the, the other two. So it's the middle of the series, right? The middle yeah. three, where it's. Karachi like, Control, you, you haven't played this stage. Skid Row, Hardpoint, you haven't played this stage. So like, if there's an opening for Carolina, it's right now. Yeah, and like what? The, the high rise hasn't uh, necessarily been great for Legion, right? The Control's really been the invasion that's been solid for them. So, like, would you love to get a Karachi that's maybe looking a bit better? Like. Looking better, but we have to see in this stage. Like something that you might be able to take and pull out as a wild card, maybe at the major. Um, anything you can grab. I mean, and listen, we, it's so weird to talk about this stuff because we know they're like screaming this, you know, day and night. Like they're playing this stuff every day. We talk about them not playing it at all. We're just talking about obviously here in like the live CDL matches. They obviously have a ton of reps on it, but like it's just different. I mean, for players talk different. about it, uh, just going from scrims to to matches. How many pace, how many times have different. we heard a player say that when it's a team that's struggling? If we can just replicate what we're doing in scrims. Well, yeah, I mean, some teams are playing to win scrims. scrims, and other teams are testing to, to pra practice, yeah, right? Yeah. Trying things out. But again, just looking at the maps and modes here, start off with Invasion Hardpoint over to High Rise SD next. And it's, I mean, it could be as simple as, you know, I feel like when you're a team like this, especially, like, I know a lot when we're talking about the, you know, like the top four squads, it's like, yeah, man, they get like one more search or one more hard point. Like, they might, they might win the tournament. Like, it's really just like one more map. Like, why not? But like, when you're a team like this, it's like kind of up and coming in Legion and like really starting to become a threat. Same thing. Like, one could be the difference between making a deep run and not having what it takes to get top spots. Yeah, I mean, I just take a look at like Miami stage one. It was just like, sure, Vasians were coming through. Not really, and then they started getting taken away, and the yeah. struggle started to happen. So, 
Vegas know this. They're going to start to be looked at. Their VOD, their records on on every single map, and that's going to be taken away from them at the major. Well, let's take a look at some of our search and destroy stats here for the major two qualifiers. We're so close to heading to Miami. I think Joe and I head out Tuesday. Can't wait to get there, but this is how the search and destroy is looking for these squads. And Joe, as you were going through stuff, what were your thoughts? Yeah, and, and, you know, we talked about map pool. I think S and D. This is uh, you know another one where they're definitely going to want to get better. But you look at that those bottom two stats. I mean, the first. First in the league in conversion rate. So when they're getting first bloods, they are winning 80, almost 87% of their rounds. So can they find a little bit, maybe more of that? Cause that is, uh, that's number one. Um, and if you're uh, Royal Ravens, can you find any, any, any of that? Because you're 12th. Yeah, I mean, this was kind of the issue, right? With Carolina and we saw them getting better through major one, but it feels like that sort of honeymoon period is going away. A lot was on, well, their search is getting a bit better, but you can see in the stats wise, it still still needs some work. So like, I listen, not all first bloods are the same, you know. Um, or opening duels, like not not every. That's why that's conversion rates. But when it's like when you're 12, like, is this something where like you're getting a kill and it's just you're not decisive enough beyond, behind that or taking a risk? I mean, it's probably a combination of all of it. Yeah, I think it's just like little challenges, like kind of the second step of the map after we have this first blood. Where do we want to go? How do we want to execute? Because anyone can come up with like an opening, you know, here's our route, so the break. Here's what I'm doing. If it's after that, <laughs> yeah, then it gets hard. Yeah, and how you want to play certain situations. Talking about those first bloods. Maybe you want coming right up right now. First with that rival. There's gonna be the first. Has TJ nearby with a rival of his own, but first blood and finesses his way. So great job by Persh. Well, okay. It happens sometimes, Joe. Uh, curse him a little bit there, but no, he gets the first blood. He'll drop, and now you're going to see if they can still get that uh, incredible conversion rate that they have. You put it back into a 3-2 favor quickly. It's a nice trade. This felony was the one that was able to take out Purge. So you're efficient there if you are Vegas Legion. Now, TJ, maybe the guy trying to make the play. We'll see what the timing will be like or if it's going to be picked up. He's got one to his right, one to his left. Decisions to make. Going to take out the first, maybe grab an MCW, and now he can snap. I, I was see, You were seeing exactly what he was going for, but maybe you try to get around the corner and stay alive a little bit longer, but nearly able to turn and burn. Yeah, he's not thinking there's two in their base. The reason there's two in their base is because you have attached all the way across the map, just kind of saying, hey, I will help pinch based on the numbers. Pretty much play off of me, play your life. And there we go, there's the info from Attach, hits the slide and he is out, round done. One out of Legion. You know, it's funny, I was thinking he like knew there was another because he just kept looking over there the entire time. I thought he got a comm or something. This way he kept looking left, kept looking left, but, and then like the instant MCW and snap, I was like, ooh. Catching it midair. Yeah, that would have been, been sick, but uh, not quite able to do it. So you continue strong on your uh, first blood conversion rate if you are Vegas Legion. Purge finds the opener. Fellow swiftly with a kill onto him, but then you take numbers again if you're Vegas Legion, and you kind of keep that the route. So great job there. TJ, chance to disrupt, but not quite able to do it. Now, into round two. We'll see if Royal Ravens can bring it back. Offense over to Legion as they're working up this A side. And on the other side, you're going to have two players working B side. There is a quick trade. So that was TJ and Gwyn working in tandem. So three on three. And that's one of those where it's like, who's the first fly? <laughs> Basically, somebody drops the same instant, right? Yeah, and then Purge from down low. But nice shots from Fellow with the Renetti. Is Gwyn's going to find one? So he's going to one on two. This is a nice read. Throws the stun out. And it looks like Nero's just pushing this. And he's above him. Off the rafters. What a play from Nero. Climbs on up. A great balance. Absolutely. As he runs across the top. Little ballerina. Look at this. Some sort of gymnast. Look at him go, though. That was almost real, real awkward. Yeah, he guessed the wrong corner. Yeah. And that, dude, I was about to say, like, I thought I thought Purge's, like, centering and, like, restap was really clean. I <laughs> When you go fell out a pistol, I was like, okay, that, that, that was probably real nuts from his end, too. Because I thought Purge almost beautiful double there, but just uh, comes up a bullet short. But now up 2 0. I think technically uh, got the first blood there in a catch, I think, before he was instant traded. So. So it counts. Yep, keep that conversion <laughs> right up. <laughs> the in Carolina just kind of back to his default. Two players down low. Nero going to give that calm. Just watching that cross. And Purge, just based on the timing, he was thinking about jumping, thinking about waiting. Almost gets caught and does get caught. That's trying to find the trade, but TJ known for being a very quick climb on the ladder. And where, you know, you've if you're Carolina Royal Ravens, you're last in that conversion rate. Well, you get the first blood. Now you're in a two versus two. 
We'll see if they can close out the round, but not looking good. Gio able to get a pick. Going to be all on Fellow now, looking to clutch. We'll see if he can get kind of two one-on-ones here. He's got a little time to work with. 35 seconds, not stressing yet, but Bomb obviously in a tough spot. Yeah, Bomb down. I think the best thing for him is they have no clue where he is. He's not into a spot. That plus know. the time that you can actually make get her out. Oh, and there we go. He's just gonna run by Geo, but Geo turns around. So uh, again, the timing's kind of working out for Fellow, but the time on the clock is not. He's got 10 seconds, five to plant, snaps, and again, attach is trying to waste time. And I think he has done it again. Salt in round one. Bomb cannot be planted. Geo actually checks it. He actually checks if he was on it. But there we go. Vegas up 3-0. I mean, a fellow did a whole lap of the map and it's like, where are these guys at? I mean, the timing he got with Geo in the shack, tough. <laughs> and then, I mean, he, the, the read there onto attach, he's able to win that. But God, I mean, that was just kind of frustrating to watch. He, just, he literally did a lap of like the entire map. You know, I think the one, two, I think we were on board with Clay when he had taken down that two on two. I don't know if he had a call or what, but it looks like he was looking up towards the helipad, but I think Geo like jumped behind him or something, so. Sometimes Tommy's on this map to be tough. Yeah, it's high rise in a nutshell. Gwen, rival in hand, just lurking by B. TJ kind of here with him, just holding the angle. You can see Gio, I mean, they got a trophy all the way back, kind of in their window. They're thinking maybe somebody's going to get aggressive here. Hold and take this gunfight. Peeking it for info. Yeah, TJ just ready, waiting, lurking, getting some damage in. But now the gig is up, and that position is not going to work for now. Got a gunfight down low. Some nice damage in from Fell, but a good job just backing down. It's gonna be tough to get a clean kill, and finally it's Quinn on the site. Oh, that trophy. That would have hit Nero, but a nice heads up play from TJ and Quinn. The double chalice on point out of Carolina this round. Nice defense over towards B. Yeah, I mean, Gwen just having that rival in these close quarter combat scenarios. Picking up kills. Geo can't quite keep the tracking on. Gwen's able to get two in the round, and Royal Ravens, you finally get on the board. It's just a nice tight setup, and as you said, fellow. He was kind of, we see Nero doing, watching that cross from down low. From the Vegas side on defense, he's just playing the, the info down low. Able to back your way and some nice kills from him in the round. And we saw him snapping a bit. Yeah, yeah, he had a couple good snaps and like a couple situations that maybe you kind of ego chow in that moment. But I thought it was just a good job, like, just getting down, staying yeah, especially up. Especially MCW, right? You're just thinking gunfight. Yeah. Well, especially, like, I mean, he snapped on someone's forehead in the second one, but still... Gets out of harm's way, because knows. I mean, he gets traded instantly, even if he wins that. I think they had, what, numbers at that point? Plays it well, so three in a row for him. Two for Gwen. A much needed round. Yeah, but this has kind of been the same standard setup here. How is it going to be a little bit different? TJ's going to run into a nade, so there's some info for Purge. And there is a first blood. Geo from the helipad stairs. With how quick, or well, how slowly they just haven't really been working up towards B. <laughs> You've allowed some positions to go the way of Vegas, but a nice trade from Fellow. It's just like once your positions give it up, sometimes this map is just, he, he just like plays so scared for a little bit. It's just, 100%. Any peak someone could be holding from somewhere. <laughs> like, Nade hits you now, you're like, okay, now what do I do? But uh, TJ able to wrap back out and get Bomb planted now to the three versus three. Interesting spot here for Gwen. Has to be careful. That's an explosive barrel. Nice one. Purge, though. Some great shots. Able to find the headshot with the rival. Almost gets a second, Ooh. but he starts the trades. And now it's down to TJ. One on two. He gets picked apart. It comes down to the retake. Legion able to get it. And yeah, what Purge, like in the 3v3, gets that open First kill. One. I know you were impressed by that. Well, yeah, I mean, he almost found another one. So. Yeah. Just buys enough time for his teammates to get there. And then everyone's position's known due to him. So just Purge just leading the way. It's kind of like a first blood in its own. But here we can see TJ just like maybe trying to catch a timing with a rival. Knows he's going to have to finesse. But this has been all Legion. Only started to, you know, not crack into that top four, but <laughs> find some separation. Like, it sort of felt like the top four and everybody else for a while there. And now with the run from Thieves, the run from Legion, starting to, I don't know. Feel like middle of the pack, yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's a different tier now. 
Another first blood over to Legion. Nero gets it. TJ trades it. Now three versus three. Geo passes from top heli. Puts numbers in their favor once again. Be able to get to these three V2s more often than not. And then just doing a good job of not throwing away their lives. I think maybe he spotted TJ there. Yeah, looks like he's ready for it. And there we go. Nice shots from TJ, but <laughs> kind of had to back away, shooting the barrels. Attached, though, just going to work up, plant this bomb. Yeah, just sort of a give and take on this map. Legion you know exactly how they want to execute. Wing trying to hit the player on the bomb. Not going to happen. And then they pounce on that immediately. No hesitation. Geo gets on it quickly. Some shots in, but TJ is in trouble. Another round to Vegas Legion and comfortable again. Yeah, if you look at the one round Carolina's won, it was that tight setup over towards B where you're kind of team shooting, they're trading quickly. I feel like outside of that, it's kind of just been they're, they're getting picked apart. It feels like they just maybe just some of their, their comms deep into these rounds are a little bit off, not challenging together. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, I would think just at the, I mean, what do we used to joke about back in Jetpack, like COD, like search? If you're not a good search team, play four, four. four hit yeah. something like four. It's not the same, but like it's a little bit easier when you're in a tight setup. A hundred percent, yeah. Just from the comp standpoint, you remember those like LG four man hits? Like, yep. oh gosh, shout out Sam LaRue and Nikki D. Oh, Titans. <laughs> Able to take one out, but still you get the numbers again into the 3v2 if you are Legion. Some information there if you're TJ, but the information comes in the way of bullets and Nero takes him out. Quickly, Bellow last alive and he is dropped. It's a 6-1 victory. Legion making a statement. Continue to separate themselves from the rest of the pack. First time they have played high rise and it is a 6-1. It's fr frustrations continue to grow here for Carolina. Clay, he gets up, maybe go for a walk, take a couple of deep breaths. They're going to have to refocus on this Karachi control because right now Vegas running away with this. And one. wasn't that, you remember back to like the first time I think we saw Carolina Royal Ravens play here was when they, the first time I can remember was when they played Optic, right? It was like a 6 1 or whatever it was. Remember like when fell off the map and all that? And we were like, maybe they've got another map here. Since we've seen him play that since then, not really the case. Yeah, I mean, just look at these non traded kills here from Vegas. And this is just what I'm talking about. You, you have this many non traded where. You're getting these first bloods. There's nothing, no response really from Carolina. That's that's what it turns into is, yeah, Clay 0-5 on the map. I mean, outside of Clay, I mean, he had a rough one, obviously, but, like, you look at the damage and kills, and, like, it doesn't look like that much of a disparity, really. Like, it doesn't really look like a 6-1 no. if you just, like, take Clay out the board. I know it's a silly thing to say, but, like, the damage is there. Like, the kills are there for the rest. Like, it just doesn't look as lopsided as it was, but there were, what, 1-1-1? One, one one, but, like, outside of that. It was pretty lopsided. Yeah. Just they had the right reads and yeah, those first bloods with numbers. Legion looks very comfortable. And again, two, three, five in this series. It's first time we're seeing it. Uh, two, three, four. In, two through four, sorry. Two nope. through four, first time we're seeing it in uh, official matches here for Legion. And so far, so good. Maybe you've added another one into your backpack as you get ready to go into the major. But uh, we're getting ready to head to break. Uh, this will be a series that's 2-0 right now. You've got all the control in the world as we get ready for a Karachi control. It seemed uh, a couple weeks ago, it was the top four and everybody else. Legion making a statement so far, botting the Royal Ravens. We'll see if they can close it out in efficient 3-0 fashion. Upgrade your game with the SCUF, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back. We continue on here uh, with a very one-sided match so far. But listen, what this is all for is headed to Miami here for Major 2. And honestly, things have gotten more interesting over these past couple of weeks just with the surge you've had from Thebes, from Vegas Legion. Some teams that maybe can make a run. Heretics have got uh, a tough road ahead of them with this Major. Well, they have, yeah, but make sure you scan the QR code, get your get your tickets now, see us there. Yeah. Have a great time. The, so the weather's going to be beautiful, and you get to watch some great cod. Yeah, listen, yeah, if you're living in some state, you're still getting snow. Go on a stuff. spring break. It's a late winter, yeah, come over to Miami, get a little, a little sweaty, enjoy some sun, get a little tan, eat some food. Yeah, that's what you do. Yep, okay. Well... <laughs> Back to Legion versus Royal Ravens here. Uh, you know, Clay got to be frustrated after that last one. Um, you know, he uh, he drops a goose egg in the map too, kind of steps away right away. I mean, for all I know, he had to sprint to the bathroom, but more 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 often than not, after a map like that, probably is frustrated. Need to take a breath. I think you can see on all their faces some frustration. Well, you know, you and I were talking about this uh, you know, sort of uh, in the break, and I, I kind of asked you, I'm like, listen, when we thought it was. Uh, you know, honeymoon period or a good team in Carolina. Remember, it was just like the hard point was clicking. The other two weren't. And I sort of said to you, like, is it different with Legion? You're like, I think they are a good team. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, you've been seeing it brewing up. But taking a look at the Monster Energy pregame here for Carolina Royal Ravens. Control map pool concerns. Yeah, three and two on high rise. Uh, throughout major two qualifiers, what, your own one on invasion. Have not seen it yet here on Karachi. So they had some work to do. And again, for Vegas Legion on the other side, we have not seen them in this qualifier qualifier play this control so again testing yeah. that map pool for the major yeah every time i say we've uh, never seen them i'm talking about this qualifier this uh, roster <laughs> yeah, yeah basically yeah this roster which is uh the big thing but it's crazy because you think about these two franchises last time they faced off what it was that crazy reverse sweep like all the way back in week one or two whatever it was like one of our first insane matches how much has changed since then just on these two rosters as we get to the action here on a yeah, trying to at least get one tick done, but a nice retake. Now they're going to be worried about that B push. You see a couple players spun up. And well, near junk, they're going to go maybe for a transition play over towards B with TJ and Gwyn in that area. Clay just going to get on the point, work the objective on A. But I like this play from TJ, just kind of staying alive, finding that free kill. I love that he just spawned up. He just went right to the corner, just in the dumpster wall. I'm like, whoever that is, I'm just staring at the minimap. Whoever's going over that is going to be pissed off because that's always a tough death. What was that? I mean, jumping in the top red hits the mantle and the shots. Demon. Again, bit of a retake here for Vegas. So you get him off of A. They didn't fully commit towards B. Like, maybe I thought they were going to. With that first kill, did Carolina. So now they're going to have to retake and play for this map control. How many lives do you throw away maybe in the process of trying to just finish off this save point? So far, it looks like it'll be relatively efficient. There you're able to finish it off. Now you get the extra minute to work with. Minute 40 to go on the clock. Trying to get set up or into their setup is Paris Legion. Go in there with the trade. Maybe a second fight on to attach, but he's just lurking for now. They're going to take out Nero as well. So you've got a couple of kills. Just get a little bit of map position here. It's always the big thing with attacking this point, trying to get this close red spawn. But you do have one player kind of blocking it right now. It will be Purge. So you see them hunting him, but he's able to find the double. And that will slow things down. Look at the difference where you're spawning now all the way back, Coop. You do have two, TJ again in this corner. I'm sure they're going to try to find him as quickly as possible, and they do just that. Just another what, one of those nice little moments from Purge. Yeah. Just... I mean, was it, were they a big threat in that moment? No, but if you lose red side control, you never know how things might unravel. Just gets a double. Now, now we're just 45 seconds off the clock, right? There was a minute 30. He's on four in a row now, too. Make it fine. Nope. Nice little slide there from TJ. Kind of gets underneath him. Yeah, that time it doesn't go his way. The first time it does, but he has Geo here. Attach, reinforcing over towards this bus. Able to catch Clay. Sprinting on over. And very staggered here from Carolina. You just got to get control of junk. Not able to do so. Maybe ignore that player. Looks like that's going to be the call. 17 seconds left in his desperation time. Clay able to get involved, get his second one in this. How often, I mean, how many times have we seen it where it's like a little slow for him in a series, then he kind of erupts and things start to shift. A tough search and destroy. He had one kill until a moment ago. 
I think they need him to come alive. They need Clay Roaring if they're going to come back in this series. Well, Gwyn's giving them a shot. It looked like they were going to deal with him on the point much quicker. But they took their time, did Vegas Legion, and there we go. They don't give up a tick at B. Four lives remaining, five seconds to go. You finally get the close red spawns, but you don't have any spawns left as Vegas locked it down. Yeah, no, that's a perfect way to put it. Yeah, finally got what you're looking for, just uh, too late. A guy's chatting through it. Clay, so many times we've seen him just erupt in a series when he's struggling, but it's just got, I mean, when you have, I, he had, what, uh, zero in the search, he had like two there. I mean, when you've got, like, that's the past like 20 minutes, you've got two kills. It's just, it's it's tough to like, a lot of times it's been for him, I feel like it's this crazy triple, like a, a play, like a moment. He's just like, all right, I'm locked. He needs one of those. Yeah, like starting on defense, right? Like where you're kind of defending B, you can yeah. find a multi-kill. Yeah. yeah, you go to an offensive round where some timings aren't going your way. Offense, I mean, offense and A control. Like yeah, it could be a blender. But I'm just waiting to see if maybe maybe there's something comes to life a little bit here and they start to bring it back, or is this just going to be a 3 0 slammage? Because the guy that's still alive and well is Papa Purge, 10 and 5, 3 in a row. Yeah, TJ, though, does he want a big flank? So able to get Purge might be my favorite point. player. I love him. You love him? I love him, dude. Okay. And we were gassing him up a lot in the green room. Dude. The talent or big fans? Guy, guy like, I don't even know he had a KG, a KD that registered on the KD barometer in some of those series, and now this guy is still here and just improving day by day. I love it. Guy's a warrior. He sure is. It's, well, he's up to 11 now, and his team's starting to work towards A. But Carolina have done a pretty good job keeping them off this, but I think the second tick will come in right here and maybe the rest of the points. So now the focus will probably be on B. And we'll see if they can develop a push maybe a little bit sooner <laughs> even if it's not like kind of that red setup can you just get well that'll help. it's a little bit messy can you get some pressure on towards b before there's 30 seconds left in the round i mean it's looking like there already might be a little success but his purge tries to get the guy kind of ahead of the rest of his teammates so he'll get back to the spawn they'll wait for him and now they'll set up their next push the four hours starting to collapse here from royal ravens but you're already able to take out one narrow snapping and nearly winning one top red now you have number four and two in Persia Geo trying to win this fight over towards Red. You got a two on two here for a moment. TJ, fellow, the vets able to hold. And yeah, I imagine Purge is going to switch that smoke up, make sure he's got a stun out. Probably still uh, edited from his S&D class. So he throws that out. Yeah, it's I don't think he was expecting that, but he goes to toss it. No. It, it happens. It happens. I think you, I think you just saw him smile. Yeah. <laughs> right now, yeah, you can see they're trying to retake junk control and able to do so as they find those kills and now they're able to get the transition kill clay was trying to get into a spot so it's just fellow right now over towards b but you get the close red spawn that's what they were fighting for and here we go vegas can now start this attack hey tj stun hits this doesn't connect he gets him sprinting forward you pick up another kill and now Clay, okay, Clay gets a nice little moment there where he's able to get two and sort of slow that threat. That's a, you know, you're in sort of a two versus three. You maybe don't have numbers. And he's brought it now to seven and 13. 30 seconds to go though. Two kills through and attach in Geo. Looking for some big play time now. Perch, able to get one. The snap back is there, but not going to get the kill. Attached yeah, though. Dead, though. Able to bring it home. Everybody is dropping. Dumpster side spawns and coming through. Off to the races from red as well. This could be the dagger here if you're Legion. Yeah, they were trading well, Carolina. They were. And then the last two just get taken down. They lose their one-on-ones. And now you're going to have three, four players on B just like that. That is how quickly these rounds can collapse on Karachi when you have those close red spawns. And Legion did it. They were layering the map, trying to get to that spot. It looked like it was going Carolina's way. But Legion clutch up. Yeah, and honestly, like, there wasn't... It was probably around like 30 seconds when he got the chances like starting to come through for Carolina. It's just, yeah, it's like the, the control moments we talk about for the years. Just inst it's just three, four down and bang, you're on to the point. I mean, they only had one guy left on at the end. Just they had that three person stack for so long that they only needed what <laughs> a millimeter once it was down to one. And uh, God, you're looking at what could be one of the more lopsided series on the year right now. So you get a 3-0 here, because you win what? By about 100 in the hard point, 6-1 in the search. The potential 3-0. This has been impressive, impressive stuff here from Legion. 
Again, for Carolina, if they lose this one, there's still a chance they can start winners. Relying, though, on uh, some others in the league, depending on how the matches go. But you, you never want that as a player. And I just really kind of expected more, just considering yeah. what's on the line with him getting into winners. A little more fire, a little more passion. It's tough to do when you're losing, I know, but this has just been a statement from Legion. We're not done yet, though. This would be one of the crazier reverse sweeps we've seen. That's for sure, but it starts with an offensive round victory here. You do a great job. Yeah, that's a real efficient work there at A. You're up like five lives, you're able to get it. Probably the best we've seen from them. That Purge comes through like a hammer and able to take out two, slow things down for now. Oh, he's gonna find a third as well. Yeah, Purge just hits right over towards Tinky, kind of blocks those spawns. So, yeah, again, he's the one making that play. For Vegas Probably Legion. reason he's still on this roster. Yeah, Mace finds the multi-kill. Is now Carolina gonna start to work up through junk? Well, Purge is ready for it. Yeah, well, ready for the stun though, but Tatch is there to help him out. Yeah, <laughs> thankfully he doesn't get hit by it, so Tatch able to chain together two. At the end of the little battle here you have by Red, as Nero gets that final kill. And back to the blender, go Carolina. Now you're taking shots as you're basically taking steps out of spawn, but you get through, you had two people here, they die so quickly, you were able to kind of slip through the cracks now and apply a little bit of pressure over towards B. Do you have a heroic moment in you now if you're Royal Ravens? Can you muster something together? TJ's gonna drop, Clayster's still up, he's out of it, and come, cool, collected from Legion again. Yeah, take their time, kind of find a, a pick or two. And now they're all grouped up. You still have Purge in that top red room. You can see him on the x-ray just right behind at the door, and he's gonna find the first one. That'll slow things down here. 13 lives remaining here for Carolina, and there is Purge just finessing, leading the way with 21 in the lobby. He is locked, absolutely locked, putting people on skates, making plays, coming through clutch when he needs to. 45 good to go now to close it out. And a remarkable series here from Vegas here go, Legion. Though. But yeah, it's that three down. It comes quickly. It's like a lightning bolt, and suddenly Carolina Royal Ravens are on to it. I think it's it. They're stacked on it. You got spawning out so deep. You're going to rely on Purge here to try to find something. He's going to find a kill. Him and Geo, you were not four stacked on this if you were Carolina. It comes down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Gwyn is going to win it. He's up to four in a row. So still a chance here for the Ravens. It's just like that. Woo! You get around victory. Maybe some momentum, maybe. Maybe, maybe you thought it was done, and then it's three down off to the races they go. Gwyn, last man standing. He had like a little bit more to do than like we saw in the previous round where you got the victory if you were Las Vegas Legion. I thought for a second maybe it's a chance for them to get back, but not going to happen. They close it out, and now they try to claw their way back in this one. Maybe Gwen can earn a streak. You hold the defense here. It comes down to around five. Come on, Clay. Lock it in. But I just saw like, yes, yeah, one or two players from Ravens kind of hop off that point, and that obviously slows, slows things down. Allow Purse to hit that flank, but uh, able, able to hold on to it was Gwen. the fellow and clay trying to lock down this a side of the map but clay getting it taken down again just some frustration from clay it's just the time he's not going his way Let's see maybe they can go fellow's way got one on the uh, bridge side oh no it might you thought it was gonna be horrible oh it was it was disgustingly bad i think it's geo that ultimately he gets the timing gets the kill Geo now up to three in a row. A about to be done. Clayster now looking to pounce, and the frustrations continue if you are Clay. Just one of those series that's going to eat at you. Yeah, now. he's trying to find a timing there, right? It looks like he's able to find it. If he finds the first kill, maybe his team helps him out, but they need to transition over to this B defense. But just look at the map position you have right now for Vegas. You are all over Ooh. the place, but Fellow locking down junk. Yeah, nice little play there from Fellow. Probably like lost aim assist for a second, but just kind of DJ just getting hunted. Like, what am I playing right now? <laughs> Two people are hunting me in my spawn. He's gonna he spawn spawns, there again. He's sitting there. Yeah, he's like, all right, I'm chilling for a sec. You come to me. It's a, it's a standoff between him and Nero. This is my real estate. Who's going first? Oh, TJ's peeking. Yeah, he's still there, buddy. Now you got some help, though. 
But can Nero waste enough time for his teammates to take control of red? That's really the goal here. I mean, he's wasted a good amount of time. He's been alive in this area forever. One just kind of hits it right up the gut, though. Gwyn's able to catch that. Number two in Geo. We'll see if he can make the play. He's at least able to get one, and now... They start to push up towards the point, trying to take maybe TJ out of the play. Coming off a of spawn's going to be Clayster. Snarrow just sneaking on forward like a slippery little snake. Not to confuse it with snaking, he's just a slippery snake. But now you're going to have three on this point. TJ off spawn, he gets caught in middle alley. It looks like Attach is able to win that gunfight. One tick done, a team nade is in. Oh, that hurts. And now you're going to three flood this alleyway, and Geo is above you, taking out one Bye -bye. at a time, and that is it. Vegas with another win, five and two for the Vegas Legion. Yeah, and that's just not close. It's, if that was going to be... That's a statement, yeah. Yeah, if that was going to be any, like, Litness test, you're wondering if these two teams are close. They are not. Legion have their way with Royal Ravens. Through maps one, two, and three, it is just, they get ahead, they don't look back. What, first time as a franchise getting five wins right at qualifiers? It's a little bit different. We've had different number of matches and qualifiers, but like, listen, if you are the Legion franchise, You've you were five wins throughout like multiple stages. Yes, yes. I mean, you not. you were the laughing stock of the league for yeah. years. Now you've got this team looking at a winner's bracket berth, five wins on the board, improving day by day. Geo with another bomb at 29 and 16. Purs right behind him, 25. This team's got to be fired up, man. I'm excited to see what they can do. Because like, listen, we uh. You know, one of the things this year you had, it's so, it's so it's so lopsided at times. You have your top four, right? It's so set in stone. Like, who's going to be the team that might crack into that? Yeah, whoever Who's going to play spoiler? Round one might be the, the match of the first day of the major when we get there. Just a couple of days away on the other side. Yeah, Clay just 13 and 27. Another tough one for him. Fellow stepped up. You know, he really struggled versus the Heritage. He had a much better series here, but just wasn't enough. It looks like.